Welcome back to Crux Stationalis. Today, on this Wednesday of the first week of Lent, we head to the Basilica of St. Mary Major, or in Italian, la Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore. It is a major papal basilica as well as one of the seven pilgrim churches of Rome and the largest Catholic Marian church in Rome. Come and explore the basilica with me. No Catholic church can be honored with the title of basilica unless by apostolic grant or from immemorial custom. St. Mary Major is one of the only four that hold the title of Major Basilica. The other three are the Basilicas of St. John in the Lateran, St. Peter, and St. Paul outside the walls. We have seen each of those basilicas in other videos here at Crux Stationalis. The title of Major Basilica was once used more widely, being attached, for instance, to the Basilica of St. Mary of the Angels in Assisi, that famous basilica which holds the Portiuncula of St. Francis. Along with all the other major basilicas, St. Mary Major is also styled a papal basilica. Before 2006, the four papal major basilicas, together with the Basilica of St. Lawrence outside the walls, were referred to as the Patriarchal Basilicas of Rome and were associated with the five ancient patriarchates. St. Mary Major was associated with the Patriarchate of Antioch. Among the Patriarchal Basilicas of Rome, now styled Papal Basilicas of Rome, St. Mary Major is the only one to have kept its original structure, though it has been enhanced over the course of years. Here you see the Ombrellino, which is one of three signs of churches designated as basilicas. This large red and yellow umbrella. The other sign is called a tintinnabulum, which we are about to see, a quite beautiful one with an image of Our Lady. This tintinnabulum, a vulgarized form of the classical Latin tintinnaculum, along with the canopeum or the umbraculum, and the display of the papal symbol are the three signs which designate a basilica. If the Pope were to say Mass within a basilica, the Tintinabulum would be used to lead the very special procession down the aisle of the basilica, alerting the faithful of the Pope's presence. Here we stand in the Confessio, or the reliquary crypt of Santa Maria Maggiore. It lies before the main altar and was designed by the architect Virginio Vespiniani at the behest of Pope Pius IX, who kneels in prayer. This confessio houses the sacred relics of the Holy Crib. The celebration of the Holy Crib originated in the year 432 when Pope Sixtus III created, within the newly built basilica, a cave of the Nativity similar to that in Bethlehem. This earned the Roman basilica the title of Santa Maria ad Preceptem, that is, Santa Maria at the Crib. Not more than two centuries later, the then Patriarch of Jerusalem gave to Pope Theodore I what tradition indicated as the Holy Crib of the Infant Jesus. In Rome, it was placed in this basilica, given the intimate connection that for a long time now united this church to the birthplace of our Lord. The presence of this venerated relic earned the basilica the title Bethlehem of Rome. In 1288, Pope Nicholas IV commissioned Arnolfo di Cambio to create a sculpture of the scene of the nativity for the cave. And it stood here until three centuries later when Pope Sixtus V wished to erect the Chapel of the Blessed Sacrament, better known as the Cappella Sistina. He ordered the architect Domenico Fondana to dismantle the cave, but to preserve this nativity scene carved by Arnolfo di Cambio. This chapel was intended as a burial monument for Sixtus V, the successor to Pius V, who was transferred to this chapel as well after his death by the same Pope, Sixtus V. Their tombs now sit across from each other in this chapel, which is in the shape of a Greek cross, almost a church within a church. A Greek cross form is a chapel which is built with a square central mass and four arms of equal length.
across from the Sistine Chapel, we find the Pauline Chapel, which houses the Salus Populi Romani. By tradition, this image was brought to Rome by St. Helen, the mother of Emperor Constantine. It's only fitting that the oldest church in the West, dedicated to the honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, would house this sacred image. An image before which popes and saints have knelt. This statue, the Regina Pacis, or the Queen of Peace, was commissioned by Pope Benedict XV in 1918 to ask the Virgin to end the First World War, which he himself called a useless massacre. Thank you for joining us on our Roman Station Church itinerary at Santa Maria Maggiore. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.